So what can we, the people, do to make Congress act? CNN.com contributor Dean Obadalo, who's got an idea, lock the politicians in on Capitol Hill until they get something done. Well, Dean, he joins us now. I know that sounds a little crazy to folks at first, but, you know, a lot of people are frustrated, and they understand they want people to do their jobs. What do you think should happen? I'm actually not kidding when I say let's take a page from the NBA owners and lock Congress out until they start getting something done for the American people. Honestly, this is like the movie Groundhog Day, but it's not funny. There's no Bill Murray in it. It's the same thing over and over. Every few months, there's some issue, and I'm going to be honest with you, it's Congress overall, but it's getting more and more focused, as John McCain said in the Wall Street Journal, said of the Tea Party members in the House of Representatives preventing a deal on certain issues which are good for the middle class. They're good for all of us. So. I think my frustration is echoed by the vast majority of Americans that are frustrated with our Congress. And Dean, this idea is actually getting some traction, this Occupy Congress that is gathering momentum online. Uh, what can people really do uh, besides vote the bums out of office the next election? Well, I'm going to be honest, voting the bums out sounds so easy. People say that all the time. But even in 2010, Congress's approval rating was at 20 percent. Still, almost 90 percent of the members of House and the Senate running for re-election were, were actually re-elected. So it's not that easy to vote them out. I think one thing, practically, frankly, call your congressional office. Send an email to your congressman or congresswoman. Tell them, you, this is not working. We want you to work for us. It's no longer, it should not be. I have a Tea Party agenda or a liberal agenda. It's an American agenda we need to help the middle class. It's 99%, 100% of us can benefit from certain things now. And making a deal on the payroll tax cut helps all of us, not just the holidays, for the whole year. We need the money. And right now, it seems Republicans are getting the brunt of the blame here this time. Even the Wall Street Journal editorial board this morning says this. It says, at this stage, Republicans would do best uh, to cut their losses and find a way to extend the payroll holiday quickly. Now, I don't need to tell you this, Dean, but that's pretty big news. When the Wall Street Journal, generally supportive of GOP policies, takes aim at Republicans, I mean, this is more than popular anger beyond liberals versus conservatives. I, I agree with you. It it's not partisan. You have the Wall Street Journal, you have John McCain saying the same thing. And that is, they know this tax cut will ultimately get passed. The question is, how much time and delay that we must get to before it's achieved. We know what's good for the American people. But there's a reason Congress has 9% approval rating. I mean, right now, there are STDs more popular than our United States Congress. So Congress, get your act together. It's the holidays. Do something good for the American people. Renew the payroll tax cut. All right, Dean, uh, that's pretty strong language there. And uh, that, that uh, pretty much conveys how unpopular Congress is. And as you had mentioned before, there are things that we can do. Send emails, tweets, flood these offices with calls, let people know how you feel about this. Dean, thank exactly. you very much. And we Thanks also want to hear uh, from you about this. It's uh, a simple